This is an example of the city in 2016. And this is our vision. My name is Aviv Hanukkah, I'm from Israel. And I'm Aviv Hanukkah, and I'm from Slovenia. Being from China. I'm David Schneider from Israel. As you can see in the graph, there has been a definite growth when it comes to total microgrid distribution all over the world. And this process is far from stopping. And one of the most outrageous things about central grid systems is the waste of energy. As you can see in this graph, 64% of the energy that we produce is being wasted in procedures of transmission and generator losses. Okay, as you can see, here we have uh, the centralized power system um, in the, cent the centralized power system, you have uh, it has only one uh, power source uh, in trans point, so the electricity can flow only to one direction. In the contrary, we have the uh, clean local power system, the, uh, the microgrid, which consists of the clean local power system, has distributed uh, power sources close to the users. So, uh, and because of that, the electricity can flow both uh, uh, directions, depending on the amount of the, the energy produced, pr produced by each source. These are the main uh, issues the uh, microgrid systems are dealing with nowadays. Tripping, which happens when the main when the, uh, the power poles, the main grid system. Blinding of protection, which happens due to the fact that most uh, single grid systems rely on uh, a single power source. Uh, uh, relay overreaching happens when you produce more energy than is needed. Relay underreaching happens when you don't have, you don't produce uh, enough energy uh, to the needs. Many microgrid solutions fault um, suffer fault of uh, the overcurrent um, protection scheme. Um, these are the most uh, most of these problems uh, are con consequence of uh, bidirectional uh, currents of the uh, in the microgrid. Uh, all these problems uh, have something in common, and this what and this is what our product is coming to solve. So um, to solve some of these problems, we have a vision for a great product which will improve stability and, and optimization in the microgrid system. Some of the solutions we have come up with uh, are real-time usage reporting, which is very important for the predictions of the future demand, and uh, is useful for different analysis of the usage. Another thing which is quite important in a microgrid system, which where, where, the steady, where the power production is quite um, uneven, is the battery bundle. Um, this allows for, for a compensation of the peaks in the power production and demand. Another thing uh, we would like to do is implement priorities. This means that in an event of emergency, when the power usage exceeds the available power, um, we would shut down only the least important parts of the grid first, for example, casinos. This would allow hospitals and other important buildings to continue with their operation. Uh, and the last thing we would like to add are the um, controllable loads which are basically a devices that can um, operate during the day, store the energy in some other form and use it in during the night when there is no uh, solar power. To achieve this, we would like to build a product called Smart Meter. It would have an output for controlling the controllable loads, uh, a voltage measurement, current measurement, uh, the port for low priority cutoff if it's ordered so, and also the logic for charging and draining the battery according to the needs of the mine. All the collected data will be transmitted to the, to the control unit, which will collect the data and come up 
with the optimal, optimized state of the microgrid. This is how our project would look like in the real world. Each power source <coughs> of each house would have, would, would have its own smart meter, uh, which will be connected wirelessly to the control unit, um, and then get instructions whether to charge the controllable loads or uh, maybe cut off the least important parts of the grid. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, some uh, something when, when we want to fix something about the main generation power, there's something bad happened to it. And I want to combine the whole new energy into uh, to electricity to the uh, give the electricity to the city. city. And uh, so this is called the isolate islands operation. In this uh, operation, the voltage and the conf uh, conferences uh, is not um, very frequency in the, uh, in the uh, it's very not good and uh, it cannot match with the demand of the law so we just want to figure out it out because uh, it will cause a lot of damage on the user's uh, equipment uh, if uh, the supply and the demand is not uh, matched so uh, here I'd like to call this uh, structure of of the Egyptian primer, and uh, as you see, we, detect, uh, we divide the A, B, C, D, four levels of for in importance, and uh, in which uh, in, uh, in the every level we have already an other uh, divide about uh, one, two, three, four. In <coughs> about uh, it also can determine the importance. <laughs> so this is a front view of the primer. Let me show you the top view of the pyramid. Okay, here. This is the top view of the pyramid. And uh, I divide A, B, C, D, four parts of the department. And uh, uh, in the A unit, we also, I can also divide into one, two, three, four. Four parts of the unit. And uh, uh, we, uh, if, uh, I want to improve the accuracy of this. So in the <coughs> A1 part unit, I still I can uh, divide it again into smaller parts of one, uh, like alpha, beta, gamma, delta, something like this. And this is infinite. You can divide uh, so ma uh, as many as you wish. Okay, and um, let's show how this system operates in the real in the reality. Okay, this flash is I made with my teammate and. Uh, as you see that uh, uh, in the in this in this situation we have uh, we want to um, reduce the load because the, the the available power is not enough to electricity the whole city so we cut off some not particularly important part of the city like the casino the the, the, the hotel the market the most that's like some fruit factory or not important factory and. Uh, but in the real state, uh, well, the, the casino is important. Casino makes money. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, but uh, you know, in the relaxed state, it's not important. It's impossible for for uh, av available power to stay um, content. Uh, it's not uh, you cannot remain unchanged. So is there some change in this? So I, uh, let me show. You. So there's some change. It's very tiny, very tiny. So it has a high demand about the accuracy, uh, like this hospital. This system can also uh, manage the electricity of the room in the in the building, like this hospital. When this is uh, when this change, the the the, the power is also changed. Uh, maybe we can assume it has only have about 15% uh, of the power and uh, if in hospital it's only it give the electricity to some emergency room to some surgery room and um, it, it is the same to whole city like 42% uh, is the electricity street floor and the city is also there's some low house there are market. <coughs> So to sum up, uh, it is the way we uh, help, help the people to divide the whole city into each block, each street to help me to 
uh, achieve a stable, isolate, stable isolated island operation. Okay, so um, take a look here you can see how our management of the village and the menu group lighting in practice. During the day when the solar power is peaking, the devices that can be controlled are charging, heating, and filling. Um, and during the night, when there is a lack of solar power, uh, the devices provide the system with the stored energy. Take a look at this graph. More than half of the used electricity in the households is goes for heating, goes for heating in the state. Um, and by using our technique, we would um, release almost half of the load from the grid during the night cycle. We also estimated the cost of our product, so um, the product would be part module for transmitting the wireless data, the microcontroller units, electricity meter, um, the PCB manufacturing, and lots of other electrical parts, um, and of course also production and transportation, which would amount to less than one dollar per month per house in a period of five years, which is quite a bit. So to conclude, we would like to say, this is ICO, this is innovation, and this is the future. Well, microgrids are typically not only have distributed demands, but also distributed generation of power. Yeah. In your analysis, you actually analyzed only or treated only the demand, not the sources, but or not the generation of power. Because wow. once again, you can you can either uh, shut down or operate certain various uh, sources of, of uh, power, and this should be also co be controlled by such a control system. <coughs> but but that's okay, you just have to say, I'm looking at the demand side only, and that's fine. But, but let me ask you, in what sense is it different from things which are being done nowadays in, in many, many places? Yeah, um, so this is the solution which includes all of the solutions which are like partially or fully developed. So um, our vision is like to, if, for, if you take for example a Tesla power wall, um, what they've done is to make something that's all, already partly existing, but by including all the parts and implementing them properly, they've made like a revolution in the market. And this is what we are aiming for. Make uh, gradual improvements to all of the solutions and to improve the state of the microgrid systems. Uh, when we're looking at sustainability of products, if you can go back to your, um, I think it was, yeah, this one, this, this one with all the costs. If you take into account um, all the materials um, and the production and transportation, are there any other, I would say, environmental costs that you need to consider? Well, yeah, uh, there, of course, with each product there are some environmental concerns, but we believe that by um, management, managing the macro systems, we can do more good than bad by producing another like this, like product like this. When I refer to it specifically, is that you're missing the last link, which is the end of life of the product. Yeah. You need to consider that in the cost, either for recycling or landfill or whatever it might cost. Uh, speaking okay. up. Uh, looking at the end of life of a product is as important as looking at where the materials come from. Okay? Uh, because sometimes it might be smart to close the circle. So elements that you use at the beginning of the product manufacturing, you can actually take harvest at the end of life and retake it back. Uh, and by that, either reduce your costs or make things more efficient in production lines and so on. But always consider end of life as well. Um, otherwise, you only trash earth, and uh, nobody would consider that cost. And also, many sensors, many many sensors, such as system B, to monitor the exact situation everywhere in the microgrid system. Mm -hmm.
you know, it's quite complicated in reality when we would like to do this. That's, I think it's kind of Thank you very much. Thank you.